I want to show you a very easy and simple way to render your Revit projects using Twin Motion and Direct Link. So, in like 30 minutes, you can get from this to this. This software is using Arial Engine. So, right now, you can uh, edit your project in real time. So everything is a very simple system, just drag and drop. Even here you can modify the season, weather, time of the day. You can add, you can add real location, orientation for your project, absolutely whatever you need for your renders to look professional, fast and easy. The library is very, very large, so you will have a lot of material, objects, whatever you will need, uh, you will find in here, even airplanes. Now I will show you how you can set up the direct link and if you want you can check the final render video at the end of this video. Okay, let's start. Go to the Epic Games Launcher, select Unreal Engine. Now select WinMotion. Now here I already installed that WinMotion, you will have to install it. For early adopters this program was free. I don't know if you have installed it like two years ago, it will be free for you. Okay, now let's go down and here we will find the link for the plugins. We will click the link. It will send us to an internet page and from here you will have to download for Revit. Okay, so we will download the plugin save it on desktop and we will have to install the plugin. At the install just select the correct Revit version. That's it. Now let's go back to Revit. Now in Revit I will just clean a little bit the project. I will delete the landscape, the trees, the car, the persons, whatever I don't need. So normally I want only the architecture. Now, after I clean the project, I will head up to Twin Motion and with only one click, I will transfer the project to Twin Motion. So, select C in Twin Motion. I will not export anything, I will just select C in Twin Motion. After that, I can save up the save the project in Twin Motion directly. Here, just select New Project. Here, you will have to select Navigation Settings. I will use Arial Settings because I'm used to Arial navigation. In a couple of seconds the project will load and after that you can edit whatever you want in real time. To get to the results that you saw at the beginning of the video I spent like 35 minutes. Next you can see the whole process in uh, fast uh, forward and you can see the final results at the end of this video. Okay, enjoy the rest of the video and thank you for watching. Goodbye.